All right, welcome to my messy, messy desk. So, these guys come off the 3D printer like this. And they've got, on the inside, they've got all the, all the threads already cut into them, but because a 3D printer can only be as accurate as it can be, or as a 3D printer is, we, what I need to do, what probably didn't happen in your case is it just needs, needs to have the, the screw go through it once. And you'll notice that it's really, really tight and I can't do it by hand. So if you take the screw, the bolt, and put it through here and then just kind of twist it through, that'll work. You can, you can do it with, with any sort of tool that you want to, I mean, it's a tight fit, but it'll do it. When I do a bunch of these, all what I do is I take one of these guys and I will, that's the wrong direction. I'll screw it through. And the reason I go from this direction is because it keeps the, the bolt straight when it's going through. If you came through from the other direction, it can, it can kind of cross, whoops, it can cross thread, cause issues that, that way. So once you get it through just like that much, then you, you've kind of cut the, through the threads to make sure they work. You pull it back out, or I do. And then I can take it, and you can see now that just by hand, I mean, I can I can screw it all on. And every time you screw it, it gets just a little bit easier. But you can see, I mean, it's already gone past all those threads is coming through here. So, so that's all I do um, the first time. And I usually do this with all the ones that go out first. Um, sometimes one gets missed and I apologize, that seems to be yours. So give that a shot, see if that allows you to use the small one, um, and then let me know how it works. Okay, there you go.